It's hard to imagine that a single spark plug can play such an important role in your customer's engine, and servicing them is a part of regular maintenance. Learn why you might want to pay a little more attention to the spark plug in today's edition of Service Done Right. Today's Service Done Right is sponsored by Autolite. Visit www.autolite.com to learn more. I'm willing to bet that the vehicles you're servicing in your bays today use one of two types of ignition systems. The older of the two is the distributorless ignition system, or DIS, and the more modern of the two is the coil-on-plug ignition system, or COP. They both have the same job to provide the electrical energy necessary to bridge the spark plug gap and ignite the air-fuel mixture in the combustion chamber. The spark plug is the heart of any spark ignition engine and it can fire well over 100 million times over its lifetime. And every time it does, a few molecules are vaporized in the process and that leads to the growth of the spark plug gap or wear of the plug. Now, if that gets too large, the air fuel mixture cannot combust efficiently, and that's the beginning of drivability problems for your customer. DIS ignition systems are especially hard on spark plugs due to the way the system works. In this system, each cylinder is paired with the cylinder opposite it in the firing order, requiring half of the spark plugs to fire unconventionally, that is, from the side electrode to the center electrode. The older copper core and single platinum plug designs are not designed for use in a DIS system. And if they are, because of that reverse polarity firing on half of the plugs, they're going to wear very quickly. Now, as I mentioned earlier, excessive wear can cause a lot of different things, including drivability concerns, misfires, and even potential damage to the catalytic converter. The introduction of the distributorless ignition system led to the development of the double platinum spark plug. These plugs feature platinum on both tips of the electrode, providing excellent durability with very little gap growth for up to 100,000 miles. In the COP ignition design, the coil now rests right on the spark plug, eliminating the need for secondary wires. These smaller coils have led to the development of the fine wire iridium plugs we see on the market today. They require less voltage to fire and provide a bigger flame kernel, which adds power, throttle response, efficiency, and even helps reduce emissions. Engines using gasoline direct injection, or GDI, are making life even harder for the spark plug manufacturers. Now the spark plug has to share space in the combustion chamber with the GDI injector. And this has led to smaller spark plug designs, 12 millimeter, even 10 millimeter becoming more common. And the service interval to keep these GDI engines performing at their peak is also being reduced, with many manufacturers recommending plug changes as early as 45,000 to 60,000 miles. In the end, the job remains the same, to ignite the air-fuel mixture in the combustion chamber. And when that doesn't happen like it should, the results are also the same. Lower fuel economy, increased emissions, and potential damage to the catalytic converter. So don't wait for drivability issues to surface before you recommend plug service to your customers. Always follow the OE recommended service schedule and use a plug that is equal to or better than the one installed by the factory. One choice that will cover the spectrum and ensure your customer's satisfaction is the Autolite XP Extreme Performance Iridium Plugs. Using a fine wire iridium center electrode and platinum pad on the side electrode, these plugs offer a 21% bigger flame kernel than most standard plugs to deliver better throttle response and improved acceleration. The ignition is also more focused, which provides faster, more complete fuel combustion for better fuel efficiency over the life of the plug. To learn more about the Autolite XP Extreme Performance Iridium Spark Plugs, be sure to visit www.autolite.com. And as always, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.